wife has remarried. <laughs> she has. She has a little boy now. He is five. <laughs> Thank you for showing me that, sir. I am very happy. I'm very happy that my wife has moved on and is being cared for by another husband. And my daughter is a beautiful, she's a beautiful young woman. I'm so happy. Thank you for that. I was... How is it, sir, that I just left that life and that she is 15? How is that possible? How is that possible, sir? There is no beginning and there is no end. He says that life is just... It just is... And that I could visit any any part of my life in the future or in the past. Sir, can I visit any any place in that book? He says that every life that I have ever lived is in that book that he just uses this book as a visual for me to understand that it is just a prop that he uses that it is not necessary to have a book but because of my lifetime that I just lived that I needed to see a book but that every lifetime is in this book so-called book and that I just have to go into this book. Sir, does everyone have their own book? Yes. Every soul has their own. But they all get mixed up because some lives intermingle with other lives. It is very complicated. He does not want to explain to me how it works. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> we are in a new place now. <laughs> This is a very large library. He is showing me floors and floors and floors of books. Uh, seriously? Do you have a librarian here? <laughs> seriously? <laughs> mm -hmm. And do you care for everyone's books, sir? Yes. He has a very large plume. He's writing something. I do not know. But... <laughs> May I check out some of these books? No, he says I can look but I cannot check them out. This is not that type of library. I may look at any lifetime, any book, but I cannot take the book. My guide took my book because it was mine, but I cannot take another's. I can only look. Thank you. Thank you. This is a very beautiful place. Very large. Hmm. Very interesting. Very large books. Thank you. Thank you for this experience.
Where to now, sir? He says that I must... I must review... I must review my life now. He is taking me to a movie theater. <laughs> it has very... It has red curtains. Red curtains. And the seats are red, too. Hmm. Very plush. I like... I like the gold trim of the... of the decorations on the of the seats not very comfortable sir but they will do their f velvet are they do I get popcorn <laughs> oh right let it begin myself as a three-year-old boy. My father, my mother are there. I just feel so much love for them. They have so much love for me. I hear them calling me Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. It's wonderful. My first girlfriend. Mm, she's pretty girl <laughs> about 15 what a pretty girl oh. I I wanted to kiss her bad she didn't want to she didn't want me to kiss her and I wanted to touch her, and she didn't want me to touch her. <sighs> I should not have done that. I didn't understand how she felt. She was... I kept teasing her and tickling her and fondling her, and she was... She got angry and slapped me. Shamed. I am not a gentleman. I'm sorry, Stacy. I am not. I'm not an honorable man. A brute. I will treat women better. I will not force myself upon a woman. I touched her where she didn't want me to touch her. She, I made her feel uncomfortable. and I shouldn't have done that. She didn't want to be touched. You will know how that feels. You will get the opportunity to know how that feels. That 
as well. with a woman. At 18. I met a woman at a bar. And she got drunk and I brought her home. And I had my way with her. The word that comes to mind is I am an animal. I am a beast. I don't do that with women. You don't do that with women. I took advantage of her. She didn't know. Terrible. Terrible. Selfish. Not fit to be a man. Disgrace. Kind of embarrassment. I just feel ashamed. took advantage of a poor woman. It wasn't right. I didn't think so at the time. Everyone else does it. But now I understand how she felt, what happened to her afterwards. She got pregnant. She got pregnant and had to have an abortion. I am so ashamed. I am a good for nothing. You will know what it feels like in another life. You will know what it feels like to be a woman. Just observe and don't judge. Just observe it and don't judge. You will get your turn. He's very loving. He doesn't want me to judge myself. He just wants me to feel and understand and reflect. That's all. He doesn't want me to be hard on myself. He just wants me to observe and understand both parts of the equation. My daughter is born. They called me in. My wife is in the hospital and they told me she had had a girl. I'm so happy. I'm so happy to be a father. She's beautiful. She is the best thing that has ever happened to me. And my wife is so beautiful. I love her so much. It is so sweet. Such a sweet scene. 
Not everything in life is hard. There are many sweet things that we live through. He said, I am a good father. He just wants me to be happy watching the scene. I am leaving my parents are seeing me leave I am at the dock and they are saying goodbye to me we're boarding a ship to Europe there are many <coughs> <coughs> Many there, many people there saying goodbye. We we're all very excited to be doing this. I'm very happy. I have my big duffel bag with me. And all of my mates are with me. And we're all boarding the ship and saying goodbye. My mother is crying. My father is hugging her. Hi, Mom. Dad. I love you. I see how much my parents are hurting. They're proud of me, but they are so sad that I'm leaving. The entire ship is full of, of soldiers. We are all going to war. But all of our family is on shore, and I am watching them as they are saying goodbye, but I feel their pain. They're proud, but they're so unhappy that and sad that I'm leaving. I wish they couldn't they didn't feel sad for me. I'm very happy that I'm leaving. I'm doing my duty as a soldier. This is what I signed up for. I'm very proud to be a soldier and a pilot. My family is on the ship. My my brothers, they are my family. And although I leave my mother and father, these are my brothers. I don't have any brothers, so these are my this is my family. He says that Many of these men are truly your family. They have been with you many times before. That although I didn't have any <coughs> any brothers or sisters from my father and mother, that these are my this is my family on the ship too. They love me and I love them. I feel home at home here. It's a night mission. We're doing reconnaissance. We're looking for for places that look like they might have munitions, factories. We're looking for places that we can come back and bomb later. We're being very quiet over the night sky. Feel good. Um, but about 22. I love this job. I love what I'm doing. I love the freedom. I love I love the I love being independent yet 
surrounded by my brothers. This is, this is my life. I love this. I'm free like a bird. He just tells me that freedom is what we all should be, what we all are. That that airplane is very similar to how we are as a soul. That we are free, yet surrounded by others at all times. They are our brothers in spirit. And that I chose this occupation because I like being free and independent and that this is, this reminds me of being in my true form. I love being, I love doing my own thing, being free. We've just landed our planes and we've been called into a, a meeting by our captain. He told us that we're being sent on a, on a mission farther out. not very happy about it. It doesn't feel right. I get this I get this feeling in my gut that I don't like it. I don't like it. But I have a duty to my men and whatever we're asked to do, we'll do. I don't like it. I don't like the feeling of it. There's something wrong. I could always tell by my gut. And this one feels bad. feeling ominous. That my gut never lies. That he was already telling me that it was time to go. And I didn't want to go. My guide was reminding me that that would be my last mission. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to go. I didn't want to leave this life. I had a wife and daughter. Well, Spit it out. It's not good enough. Since I was done. It's not good enough, buddy. He was no failure. No, Robert, you were not a failure. You were... Did you not see that ceremony? You were considered a hero. You were a hero. You just didn't know it. No. No. You lie to me. No hero. I 
failed my mission. Why do you lie to me? Robert, Robert, Robert. What are we going to do with you? So hard headed. You are not a failure. Listen to me, man. I was there with you from the moment you you took on this mission. We were there as a team. <clears throat> you are not a failure. You were you were such an honorable human being. You were you are, you are still a good father and a husband. You are a wonderful role model to your men. You are the one who instilled in them pride and who they were and on their mission. Just because you were shot down does not mean you were a failure. You are a hero in all of their minds. You are their hero. So just get over with it. Get over it and understand that that life was not a failure. Yes, okay. I took the hit for them. I took the hit. I just realized that. I took the hit. I took the hit for them. Okay. I saved many men that day. He gave up his life for his men. How can that be selfish? He did everything to help those men. He was so young himself, yet he felt that he was so old. He took them on as if they were his children. Everyone thought he was older because of the way he acted. But he was not selfish. He gave up, he gave up his life for them. I love my men. They were my boys. You are not a disgrace. You're not a disgrace to your family, to your country to your wife, to your daughter, to all of the men who loved you. How can you even have that word in your vocabulary? You are not a disgrace. You are an honorable man. You did your duty according to what you wanted to do. You did it well, son. Thank you, sir. I love you. Robert, my boy, you didn't learn. <coughs> you have to learn how to treat a woman. You have to treat them delicate, like flowers. You didn't do that, did you, son? No. Robert, I know you don't want to hear this, son. But you've been male way too long. I and mean, it's time we put you in high heels, buddy. <laughs> put a little bit of lipstick on you, too. Wouldn't that look cute? <laughs> Robert, get it straight, son. That was a robe. That's no dress. We're going to put you in a robe next time so you know the difference, son. Hmm. Mm, dress. Oh, boy. I don't know about those high heels. You got to look frilly and all that.
I don't know. You gonna make me look pretty? <laughs> I wanna look nice and pretty. Don't make me one of those old dogs. Hmm. Is that all you care about? Is that all you care about? Son, you have to know what it feels like to be a woman in the heart. Gotta think about this a bit. I look too pretty. Hmm. Oh, he's strong. He's strong and he's disciplined and <clears throat> he knows how to get things done. He's independent. Hmm. That's a good question. Let me think about that. You know, you really irritate me sometimes. Always whispering in my ear. All right. Patience. Obviously, I didn't. Wasn't patient with those women. Well, if I drop it, then I'm not going to learn my lesson, am I? Oh, Robert. Robert, answer the woman's question. Just answer her. <laughs> How did you get assigned to me? Why are you such a wise guy? <laughs> No, I don't need to hold on to that any longer. No, I'm not sad anymore. Nope, I'm not a failure. I am a hero. That's what my buddy here says. Hmm. I'd like to speak to my wife. I'm so sorry, honey. I'm so sorry I left you. I love you so much. I love you too, Bobby. I love you, baby cakes. I love you. I got my new family now. <clears throat> I'll never forget you. I love you. Thank you for our beautiful daughter. seems like, for some reason, letting go seems to be the theme. Mm -hmm. Letting go of my parents, letting go of a job that I loved, letting go of my wife, of my beautiful baby. Mm -hmm. He's winking at me. I'm letting go now. It's good now. Mm -hmm. I understand it. No, I didn't understand until I saw it from the other side that I took the hit. Mm -hmm. And I actually saved my men. I didn't see it while I was there because I didn't see what was behind me. Mm -hmm. But later I realized I took the hit. I do. I forgive myself for that. Gotta transform him. 
Come on, Bobby. We're back in the light again. I'm surrounding him with uh, with those that have known him before. There are many. He is now a ball of light. Okay. He no he no longer has a form. Okay. Right now, I'm still in the same form as I supervised. He's not ready yet. He's just getting acclimated to where he is right now. Okay. He is a bluish white. He needs to hold on to those scenes of those women. He already has worked on it. He is working on it. He's not doing a very good job of it. Okay. Yeah, there's a ball. There's there's a circle of little lights all around me, like like the rings of Saturn. Hmm. Maybe several dozen, maybe 30, 40. They're just greeting me. They're very small. Being pushed down. They're just, I know that they're looking at me and they're supporting me. It's, almost as if they're making a ring of energy around me, mm -hmm. very tiny lights, and just supporting my my light, which is much larger sphere in the circle that they've made. It's like a horizontal circle around me. I'm not quite sure. They're just keeping me balanced within their circle. They're balancing him, balancing, balancing the energies. He's very imbalanced. Just getting his essence balanced is complete. They're all dispersing now. I just feel like I'm melding into the rest of the light. There was a circle of, I was a sphere of light <clears throat> in a circle of little tiny lights and there was very white light all around us like a wall of white light and as they dispersed into that light they all took different directions and now I melded into that light but my guide is still in form there for some reason he is not no, he so just he just turned into a light. It is also white. It is not round. It is spherical. It is elongated light. <coughs> Almost. <laughs> You're too funny. You're too funny. He just turned into a light in the shape of an airplane. You're so funny. Are we going to be like this all the time? <laughs> he disappeared. And I, I just fell backwards into the light. I'm falling backwards into a tunnel. Falling backwards into a tunnel, to a long... winding tunnel. And now I'm in my mother's womb. Hmm.